Golf legend Francis we met today on Tour Swing Tuesday. So golf forever changed in 1913 when we met, won the U.S. Open at the Country Club in Brookline as a 20-year-old caddy and just shocked the world, actually. And with the U.S. Open going back there this year, there'll be a lot of talk about him, and rightly so. Let's take a look at this action and see what we can learn. Okay, so what stands out to me right away is a couple things in his setup. One is he has both the feet turned out, which is a popular move in that day. It gives you more hip turn going back and easier to rotate through on the downswing. The other thing that stands out is look how strong his grip is. Even from this angle, you can see three knuckles at least on that left hand grip and his right V to his right shoulder. So very strong grip, uh, which was common in those days. Bobby Jones wrote a lot about the grip. He thought you should have a three knuckle grip. I like to see two knuckles at least or three it helps you rotate the club. Okay, let's take into motion here. You're going to see a very cool swing. Take it away nice and low. And how about the size of that head on the club? Can't believe that we used to play with that even in my day. And uh, look at the nice uh, outfit he has on. I'd like to play with that one. All right, taking it back. And he's got that nice wide left arm. He's got the hinge, all the stuff I like to see. Head in position, turn to the top. Look at this tremendous coil. Wow, that's a big shoulder turn and a lot of hip turn, right? And you can see that left heel well up on, off the ground. Very popular move in that day. Jones had that. Sneed had that. And so you just wonder if that was just a little easier move on your back, right? Just getting that turn and maybe not having the restriction. Now, Hogan came along a little later and talked a lot about hip restriction and left heel down. So the golf swing has changed over the years, sort of back and forth. Uh, you know, this swing obviously was in vogue in his day. Okay, starting down now. What's the first move down? If you lift your left heel, you're going to just hit it right back on the ground. Place it right down on the ground. First move. You know, and this kinematic sequence is what makes your golf swing, folks. You start that lower body first. I have some drills. I can help you with that when you come to see me for a lesson. Okay, head behind the ball. Very important. Driving that left side, retaining that angle. This is all fantastic. And you, as you look at his impact position, very stable right here. So left arm and shaft realign right here at impact. Beautiful. Look at his head back in position. Outstanding. And you see a lot of side bend here in his golf swing. So can I lean to the right? Now, what does that do for you? That helps you launch it a little bit higher. Obviously, you want to you know, hit up on your tee shots, which he does here, and that's fantastic. A little, look at the left leg right through that line. That's exactly what I see with good tour players. Half the leg through the line, impact A-plus right there. Going to have super extension in the follow-through, arms out in front, and right hand over left. Great image for all of you that want to draw the ball is that you have your forearms rotate, so it's a combination of body rotation and forearm rotation, that right hand being over the left right there uh, in the extension position, very, very good. And then up onto the right toe. So that's Francis we met. Wow, he just really changed golf uh, in this country for sure, uh, winning that playoff in 1913. Hey, you'll hear a lot about him this week at the U.S. Open. All right. Thanks for tuning in. More information, Gary Bates Golf Academy. And don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, we have a great archive of videos uh, for you that you can check out. And uh, I hope you can learn a lot more from some of the different videos. Okay, so God bless you. Thanks for being with us. See you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. Bye for now.